Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Gurpreet from Database Canvas and today we are going to learn about dual axis chart, also known as combination chart in Tableau. So what is a combination chart? Well, it's a kind of chart where we are using different marks on different axes to compare multiple measure values and to quickly spot relationship between them where we are showing different measures over a period of time on different axes. So as you can see in this particular diagram or a dashboard, we have three different measures that is profit ratio, sales and profit. And we are plotting them into multiple axes. So in this case, two axes on the left hand side, we are showing the dollar value of sales and profit. And on the right hand side, we are showing the profit ratio. And as you can see here, we have two bar charts, which is also known as overlapping bar chart or a bar within a bar. So in this case, we are showing sales as well as the profit dollar values and the profit ratio we are showing it in a line chart. So how we can create this? So let's start with a blank workbook. And for this, we'll be using a sample Superstore data set. So first of all, I will connect to the data set and click on the connect to data and select sample superstore data set. So once we have sample superstore data set, I will first bring the order date into the column shelf and I will change it into a continuous value and I will just right click on that one and change into months, continuous month. And if you see, it's a green pill which means it's a continuous value, so we can see it this way. Then I will simply bring, so there are multiple ways of doing that. So in this case, I will just bring measure values into the row shelf, and you will see we got all the measure values on the left hand side. And out of this, I only need sales and profit. So I will select all other by pressing control key and select all the other ones which I don't need, and then I will simply press delete. So now you will see there are two line charts over a period of time, which shows us profit and sales. And now what I will do, I will simply create another profit, uh, profit ratio value, which I want to create it on another axis. So how I can bring that in. So I will simply drag the profit ratio onto the right axis by like this. And you will see the third bar, uh, third line chart is created. Or the another way to do is, is by simply bringing the profit ratio into the row shell. And you will see another axis for profit ratio is created, but in this case, you will see it's not dual axis. So we have to manually go and create dual axis. And then we, if we need, if it's the same measure value, then we can create synchronize. But in this case, because we have profit ratio on one side and the dollar value on the other side, we don't need to synchronize it but we need two bar charts here which we are using we will go to measure values and we will change it into bar chart and also we can use measure names and we can drag it into color shelf and you will see it here it's a stack bar chart and in this case we don't need stack bar chart we want to see the overlapping charts or bar within a bar so in this case, first of all, I will go to analysis menu item and go to stack marks and turn the stack marks off. So then you will see it's one behind the other one. But again, because the size is the same, the width of each bar is same. So we can't differentiate where each bar is, whether each bar is with any other bar. So for that, we will simply bring measure name into the size mark and then we will go on to this edit size window and we click on edit size and we will simply reduce the side and we can adjust the way we want it so that this looks pretty fine and also in terms of profit ratio we can change the color whichever we want so if we want to use in this case black or dark color we can use whichever color so I might choose a bit darker in this case and also if you want to 
add it add more filters into that so you can bring auto data into filter shelf in this case you can only use years so i will use last three years in this case it's pretty less so maybe i will increase so that way you can adjust and do the formatting so i will increase the size a little bit here and a little bit here as well to make it a little bit bigger so it fits perfectly in this window yep so that looks pretty good and also if you want to change the mark type you can change it from by right clicking on the axis and go to mark type and change it to whatever you want in this case if i want to change it to spar we can do it this way or i can just go to mark type and change it back to line and also if sometime you do the steps in a different way you will see that this line chart is at the back line lines so i will just right click on the profit ratio the axis and say move marks to the front and you will see it will come into the front so that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions feel free to drop a message or comment in the below section Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.